These four high schools began testing the metal detectors over the summer. The school police chief tells me nothing suspicious was found, but today begins the true test as each of these school campuses move thousands of students through. Every half second, another student can walk through these metal detectors now at four Palm Beach County high schools. We captured them in action over the summer at Seminole Ridge High School. This new layer of security also at John I. Leonard, Palm Beach Lakes, and Palm Beach Gardens High Schools. All principals volunteered to be a part of this testing phase. If there were a magic wand, we'd have done it 20 years ago. Um, this is just another step and another evolution in making schools safer. Through the summer, the schools learned what items will set off the machines, like laptops. They'll have students remove them from their backpacks before they walk through. School police chief Sarah Mooney says they've received good feedback from the test schools so far. We're hopeful that it's going to go without, you know, with any kind of delays, but it's going to be something new to a lot of the students. So, um, you know, inevitably there'll probably be slight delays right when we start, but I think that they'll work through them. If something does set off the machine, the student will bring their backpack to a private area to search for what may have set it off, and police will get involved if necessary. So if the pilot goes well, I'm going to share those findings with the school board, and uh, if they're comfortable at that point, we would start implementing it across all our high schools. It would probably take us most of the next school year to work our way through the district. And the superintendent also tells me that if they do decide to implement the metal detectors across district high schools, they will then move on to outfitting the middle schools. Now I'll be keeping track of how things go throughout the day today, and I'll have an update for you this evening. In West Palm Beach, Stephanie Suskind, now back to you.